What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to build the best created player in all of Diamond Dynasty for MLB The Show 21 and who might be the best hitter in the game all year. If you enjoy the video, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Let's get into it. All right, listen. So, a couple things here. I'm going to show you, I'm literally going to go through everything that I did. I'm not saying that this, this in my opinion is the best way. There's a couple different ways to do it. This is how I got my guy to where he's at. So here's our cap right now without any like adjustments to it, okay? The mo the max value you can get for your cap is 50, okay? So just keep that in mind. That is the max value you can get for every stat across the board, okay? Um, attribute wise, base wise, okay? But when you go into the game and you have like your perks, your equipment, like everything put together, it's going to look similar to what I posted on Twitter, which is this, which is a fucking crackhead, okay? Can we all agree? Like, this is way better than what it was last year, way better than what it's been in a long time. Like, listen, I don't like caps. I think caps should be out of the game, but I'm not allowed to, like, I'm not gonna not have God fucking Zilla in my lineup all year. Just not gonna be, just not gonna happen you're going to have a bronze player okay when you load up road to the show go through all the cutscenes and all the bullshit you're gonna have a bronze player okay the first bronze player you want to pick is spark plug for this build okay the other ones like i obviously you're not pitching the pitching ones like disregard the preferred positions that really is only referring to from what i have heard is only referring to your road to the show character it doesn't impact the position in diamond dynasty so don't really worry about it but again you want to copy this like the way i'm telling you to okay so again after bronze you're gonna pick slugging spark plug after slugging you're gonna pick the hawk and then after the hawk gold you're gonna pick the diamond hawk okay which you can see he can play anywhere i mean my face cam's in it but it's out the outfield play anywhere okay um so that's kind of the path you want to take all right so based on this build, I think the best perks to have are Power 1, Fielding 2, Contact 6, and Power 6. This is going to get the most out of your hitting stats, as well as increase your fielding and increase your contact attributes. For equipment, I recommend having diamond equipment for anything that impacts either your fielding, your reaction, or your hitting. Don't worry about the catcher's gear, it's not as important. The one important item though is to have the legendary call ritual item. This is going to give you plus eight contact and plus eight power to both sides of your cap. All right, some people have been saying that you can just go ahead, go to the calendar and you can sim all the way through. That's an option, but you're not going to be getting all of the moment which i'm gonna show you in a minute here okay so one of the most important things to upgrade your guy is through these road to the show missions okay which have to be done in the game okay i don't so if you simulate your calendar you're not going to be getting these missions which is how you're going to be upgrading from bronze to silver to gold to diamond this is extremely important okay now you can go one thing people have been doing is they'll go into a game and just sim it that way you will get the moments as opposed to if you were just to sim the season you're not going to get anything so the, i'll show you they would go into a game uh, i'm not going to show you they would go into a game and you would just hit sim like you would hit circle skip it end the game blah 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 whatever now before we get even more into this there's a glitch in road to the show right now okay which if you're going into the game and either playing it or simming it the statistics aren't counting the way to fix this is you go into diamond dynasty you're gonna go into pl single player modes play versus cpo cpu make sure your cap is in your line lineup bat them first i don't know how important it is for that but just fucking do it i don't know just do it okay you're gonna go to oriole park whatever home or way pick them you're gonna go into the game. You're gonna take one at bat, okay? Let the result happen. The next batter will come up, quit. You can go back in the road of the show. Everything's gonna count, okay? It's a glitch. I don't know why this method works, whatever. So I know a lot of people will play for hours, but like nothing counted. That's why you have to do that. 
Have to, have to, have to do that, okay? All right, you're in your first season, okay? And you're at the very beginning, you're in double A. Okay, that's where you start. What I, you can, again, I talked about this. You can go into the game and manually simulate it and you'll still accumulate the stats. I gotta be honest, I think it's better to throw this on beginner and play it out and just play the entire first season. Here's my concept on why I think you should play out the first season of your double A career. Two things, okay? One, you're getting a fuckload of XP. And when I mean a fuckload, I mean a large fuckload of XP, okay? And I, f I have probably gotten about 400,000 XP in the last couple days I've been grinding. I'm not kidding, 400,000. It is so much. And the reason is, is because you get anywhere from about a thousand to 2000 per series you play. Now, if you're simulating, if you're simulating, you do not get as much XP. I'm kind of bouncing around a little bit. There's a lot of information here. If you are on next gen, okay? If you are on next gen, if you go to league and you go to stadium assignment, you can change every double A, triple A, or MLB stadium to ship it. You want to do this because some of the parks play terribly. Okay, you would want to change it to ship it. You're going to want to play. I highly recommend playing. And here's here's the reason why I think you should play. Not not just the XP. You can go into each game and sim. Okay, from double A. Okay. Or you can go in, put this on fucking beginner, hit 700 with a million tanks, and you're just going to be doing all the moments it quickly. Like if you sim, it's gonna take a few years. And like, honestly, dude, you could, you can probably get to diamond within a year, maybe a little over that if you're playing all the games, okay? So that's that's it i mean that that's my one reason to play would you rather would you rather sim and hit 200 with 10 tanks or would you rather just play every game rack up xp hit 700 and fucking hit 80 bombs that's the thing so again settings in my opinion you're gonna want to put it on beginner you don't want to stress yourself out playing legend it doesn't make sense it's not you know what i mean you're very stat focused in this it doesn't make sense okay so you put it on beginner and then the other thing you want to do this is what I did. You want to take off running. You want to take off base running moments and you want to take off feeling moments. You only want to be hitting mode specific options. Okay. You want to do fielding opportunities off and you also want to do base running opportunities off. Okay. Going back to another part of this is in the very beginning, you first start, you're going to get approached by your coach about pitching. Okay. About being a two way player. You want to just smash that dream okay you're not pitching we don't want you pitching so anytime that anyone comes up and says hey dude get on the mound do this dude no 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 and at one because you don't want to be wasting games pitching when you could be hitting obviously i mean come on big brain shit right there so anytime a coach approaches you you'll only get it probably maybe like three or four times one and then one day they'll be like are you done and you'll be like yes all right make sure you say no to all the pitching very very important okay all right so I told you about the path. I told you about why I think it's important to play the games. I'm also going to tell you why it's important to not sim the season. Okay. You can go ahead and sim season. This is very much later down the road. Okay. Uh, this is when you've completed potentially your path. Um, all your upgrades. Again, I think it's a lot better to just grind it out, playing it, get the XP hit 600 instead of, you know, simming at a 200 batting average um but also uh, these moments you really want to do in game like it just it's quicker to just do it yourself it sucks it takes long but whatever in my opinion it's better you get xp blah 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 the diamond dynasty moments i didn't touch except for the bronze tier i think it's better to just put your cap at first because i think to get to the silver tier you can do the diamond dynasty missions i think you only need like 10 hits in a game so you can just put your cap and it could be play versus cpu put your cat batting first play a uh, uh, versus cpu game be the away team hit the ball close out you know and then just keep doing that until you get all the hits i think that will get you pretty close to the silver tier right off the rip after that i do not touch the diamond dynasty missions they do not matter they are too long they're too long one of the things that's really important to this is that there's training 
at the end of i don't know if it's the end of every series or every off day i couldn't get like a there was no like consistency with it i know it definitely is on the off day but you get like one to two training sessions per week ish okay this is super important because this is how you're going to upgrade your fielding for the most part okay I, or, or speed i kind of would like go back and forth and like each training i do maybe like one speed then one fielding one speed because since we're only doing hitting moments we're not really upgrading those they're not like going out too much you know what i mean they're not going up too much since we're not manually doing anything with it um your main goal is to at the through this whole process is to get to diamond and then after diamond there's another path there's another path which is here where you get a couple diamond equipments and a free diamond perk so it's kind of good to continue to do it your main goal is to get through these missions and get through this like reward path and road to the show and you want to get through diamond and then there's one more path after it which is this where if you want to continue to play and grind you'll get diamond equipment in a perk all right boom so really when you max out the program you get past the diamond like you can't get any more of the like you've already gotten the hawk diamond perk or diamond we'll call it like a loadout or whatever the hell it is you know you really just want to begin to now focus on okay what stats do i need to increase that are not at that 50 threshold like look at this right character is really reflective of whatever happens in road to the show my guy was at 50 across the boards we just simmed a couple games and didn't do well and they dropped one you know what i mean i don't know i don't know like you got that's why in my opinion you can sim but you're not going to get like the best guy i just simmed like three games and my guy didn't hit well obviously and he lost one contact each side because he was at 50 before this i mean i'm not gonna lie to you man it it took probably anywhere from i don't know john what would you say 12 15 maybe 20 hours i don't like it takes a long time <laughs> but like do you want the i mean this card is better than the collection card like look at this i showed it a few times i'll show it one more time this card is better than chipper this card is better than alfonso this card is better than david ortiz by a lot that card is disgusting. I mean, a switch hitter, cap, speed is great, is fine. Reaction could be a little bit better. Fielding's perfect. I mean, it's the best card in the game all year. Like, period. This is the best card in the game all year. Like, who is coming close to this? Mickey Mantle? Like, yeah, that's a great point. Mickey Mantle might be the closest one to this. I mean, I don't know what to say. Okay, here's the other thing. Quickly, quickly, quickly. I recommend doing just a kind of a recommendation. You can tell me to go screw or whatever. I don't care. Conquest. There's a Jackie map. Okay, you're gonna get you're gonna get a bat. I think bat grips and cleats out of this. All you're gonna do is steal three million fans, take all the territories, body the Los Angeles strong. One of the things like I really recommend it. Like if the servers go down, if the servers go down, here's another thing. Okay, the MLB servers are great. They're working fine, so you should never have to deal with this. Okay? There might be a time where you go to hit square and go into the missions and it comes up and it says like, connection can't be bought, whatever. You need to close app because you're nothing's gonna count, okay? Close app, go back into single player play versus CPU, do that thing where you take one at bat with your cap, leave the game. And then again, you want to make sure after you play a road to the show game, you know, let, we'll use our brains a little bit. You know, what I was doing, I was like, all right, listen, like I have, I don't know, 19 hits. I'd go in, play the series, come back and say, oh, it has 25 hits. All right, it's working. Like don't play three hours and not be getting stats. That sucks. It's happened to me, it blows. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like and subscribe button and I'll catch you on the next one.